Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dave, Renegade Gig Hustler, back at you for another video. Hey, listen, when you're thinking about working in the gig economy, or if you're an Uber Eats driver, and you do DoorDash also, I'd like to find out from you which app do you think is best. Is it Uber Eats? Or is it DoorDash that really does it for you? Which makes you more money, hands down, consistently? Come on over. Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. I'm of the opinion that if you're doing Uber Eats and DoorDash, you will have a good indication as to which app really does it for you. Which app consistently makes you the most money, hands down. Also, if you're like me, I'm a strong multi-apper. I've been doing this for over five years. In fact, I've been doing Uber Eats well over five years and DoorDash just a little over five years and when I think about everything that I've dealt with in that time I can't help think about the fact that Uber Eats has made me the most money hands down consistently keep in mind guys I've had a lot of great trips on DoorDash and I've had a lot of great everything on DoorDash, but I've had my ups and downs just like on any gig app. And I've had my slews of issues with DoorDash. You got to remember that DoorDash is still the only app that will treat you like an employee when in fact we're independent contractors. And a lot of DoorDash drivers these days, they get carried away thinking they actually work for DoorDash when in fact they are an independent contractor. There's a lot of people who just solely rely on DoorDash. And that's a big no, if you ask me. And the reason being is because DoorDash is the one gig company out there that will easily give you a contract violation if you're late. Or if the customer claims that they never got their food, even though you know it, you, you delivered it. DoorDash is also the only gig company that will hand out the activations if they felt you didn't follow the protocol, the guidelines. There's a lot of you out there that are just chasing after the platinum, chasing after whatever, thinking that you're going to be on top, or you're trying to compete with something when there is no competition you should be solely doing this and thinking about yourself and what's best for you because these gig companies surely aren't thinking about you and you gotta keep in mind always that everything reverts on the driver no matter what app you're doing Uber Eats or DoorDash now I do a bunch of gig apps and I'm always at any rate at any time on any day doing at least four to five apps at least three apps Right now I have Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Spark Delivery on. But we're solely talking about Uber Eats and DoorDash and what makes you the most money consistently. I also say never do DoorDash and solely depend on DoorDash. And I say this, guys, because in the bulk of market areas it is either saturated or oversaturated. And oversaturation happens when there are too many drivers. And when people sign up to come out here to make money to, to be a de delivery driver, what do they normally sign up for? DoorDash. I always say have an exit plan. I always say 
Never just solely depend on DoorDash because if something should go wrong or your market area becomes so oversaturated and you don't have a chance to get any good trips or you're not getting many trips, you're not making much money and at least you will have other apps to run if you're multi-apping. And if you're at least doing DoorDash and Uber Eats, you have Uber Eats to rely on for whatever they might be doing. Now don't get me wrong. Lately, Uber Eats has been paying pretty crummy on a bulk of their trips. But at times, they are pretty good. Also, you may get a couple good ones. I had two the other day that I did. And I picked up at PetSmart and shopped for a few items. And then I did another one at Target. And by the time I was done, I made close to 50 bucks just on those two trips with the expected tips that were included. You've got to form your own opinion. You've got to make up your own mind. But I'm asking anybody, if you're doing Uber Eats and DoorDash, what does it for you? Everything depends on what market area you're in. And the other factor is, are you doing the morning? Are you doing the lunch rush? Are you doing the dinner rush? Are you coming out in late evening? Those are all factors that may affect your market area also. Now, Uber Eats is never an oversaturated area. Uber, Uber Eats is not just strict to any one zone. There is no zone on Uber Eats, so you can do it whenever, wherever. And I always liked Uber Eats better because of the flexibility and the freedom. But at the same time, I've had a lot of great, great trips on DoorDash, but I've seen my slew of crummy ones, uh, sometimes eight, nine, ten in a row. And instead of just sitting there waiting on one or two things that you might be waiting on on DoorDash, you can get an Uber Eats and fly around and get that. Maybe you'll pick up an Uber Eats and a DoorDash, and now you're multi-apping. What really does it for you? Are you doing this in the morning? Are you doing it in the afternoon? Are you doing the dinner rush? When are you doing this? What market area are you in? This will all affect what happens with your profits as far as what you do with Uber Eats and DoorDash. Sometimes I have two Uber Eats and a DoorDash. Sometimes I have... I do, other, I do another food delivery app that we're really not talking about today, and that's called Grubhub. So, uh, lately I haven't been doing Grubhub because it's glitching. I haven't been able to get the app working, and I've been in touch with uh, driver support, which is crummy. And I'm trying to get them to get my app working again. But, when you think about everything, what really does it for you? Which app do you like doing the best? Is it Uber Eats? Is it DoorDash? You guys have got to form your own opinion. You guys have got to put it all together. The other factor in what will delay you is if you sit in your hotspot forever just watching trips go by. If you were running Uber Eats and DoorDash together, if there was nothing good on DoorDash, you could go get the Uber Eats. If there was nothing good on Uber Eats, vice versa, go get the DoorDash. Maybe you're like me, and you're picking up a couple Uber Eats and a DoorDash, or a couple DoorDash and an Uber Eats. And me, myself, I don't know about you, but I'm a hustler. So I try never to sit too long. And as soon as something great appears, I go get it, or I get something similar or better. And I roll with it. What really does it for you? Leave it in the comments below and let me know. Let's talk about it. Do you feel Uber Eats is paying right for most of the trips you get? Or do you feel that DoorDash is really doing it for most of the trips that you're getting? Do you just solely rely on DoorDash? These are the questions. Do you not have any other apps to do other than DoorDash? The next, for me, I'm going to say that's not great. Get yourself another app to do. That way you're not sitting in your hotspot 
for too long waiting on making money because that's downtime. And what kind of trips are you taking on DoorDash? Do you take those two and three dollar trips going eight, nine, and eleven miles or more? Because I see them all the time. I surely don't take those ones. But a bulk of time, if there's crap coming across on DoorDash, I'm able to get a Uber Eats or I'm able to get a Grubhub or I'm able to go and get me a pickup on the Spark Delivery app over here at Sam's Club. Come back in after I'm done dropping off those. Boom, boom. There's Uber Eats. Boom, there's a great DoorDash. They're across from each other. I'm picking them up. I'm running one. I'm running the other. I hustle. I multi-app. What do you do and what is best for you? Let me know in the comments below, guys, and let's talk about it. In a perfect world, Uber Eats would be just fantastic all the time. And at one time, it used to be. DoorDash would be doing the same thing. There's a opportunity section on the Uber Driver app that's now almost emulating what DoorDash is doing, and you can sign up for it and make a certain amount of money per hour. But for me, I think that's a bad thing because that's all the reject trips that all the others doing Uber Eats are rejecting per offer. And I can make out much better just taking whatever offer I want out of there and rolling with it and putting something solid and consistent together. There's a lot to think about here. There's a lot to process. Are you coming out and meeting your goal with what you do and what is it that you do? Is it Uber Eats and DoorDash? Or do you just do DoorDash? Get yourself a better plan, guys, and start multi-apping so that you're not always sitting waiting on DoorDash and you have other options. Options like Uber Eats and other apps that you can run all together so you always have a chance to make that money. Whatever you do, make that money. Think about what I'm saying. Put it together. Process it. Come up with a strategy. And do whatever's best for you. I'm just giving you some ideas, some other ways to think about things, and trying to help you strategize. Put it in the comments below, guys. Let me know what you do, how you do it, where you do it. And what are you doing? Uber Eats and DoorDash? Or just one or the other? Let's talk about it, guys. Until next time, my name's Dave. Renegade Gig Hustler. Take care.